Alrighty, so for tonight we're going to be jamming some Green Black Elves and some Eldrazi Tron. Um, the Green Black Elves was submitted by my friend Jay, so he wanted to see the deck get play. So we'll run through the deck. It should be uploaded into Stream Decker. I'll have the link uh, going forward uh, with all my decks um, in the YouTube uh, posting as well, so that way you guys can see it. Um, so in the deck here we've got three Blooming Marshes. Um, three Cavern of Souls, four Forest, four Guilt Leaf Palace, three Nurturing Peatland, uh, one Pendle Haven, one Westvale Abbey. Um, we've got two Elves of Deep Shadows, four Elvish Mystics, four Druids, four Lenoir Elves, four Dwellings Leaves, three Winding Ways, four Clan Callers, two Vivians, four Arch Druids, two Azuris, four Shaman of the Pack, and four Collective uh, Companies. I really do like these decks. They always just play like four of us. Makes writing that list so much easier. Um, over the sideboard, we've got two Plague Engineers, four Leyland of the Voids, three Collector Oof, um, two Force of Vigor, three Assassin's Trophy, and one Pithing Needle. So we're going to jump right into this. Deck is selected properly. Don't want another mishap like last week. <laughs> All right. And we're going to get going. I disabled the noise. Let's reset. Let me disable that real quick. All right. Um, seems good. It's technically my first time playing elves, so we'll see how we fare with this. Crab probably means it's the uh, blue version of Hogak. Alright, I think we want to lead off with Heritage Druid because then next time we play Dwywin's Elite and then generate a ton of mana. Crab. Unless it's actually just mill. They're targeting us. Oh my gosh, this is actually mill. I'm so impressed. Ho 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 ho. They're rude. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to pressure them pretty hard here. They're down to just two cards, though. So that's on the plus side. We're down to almost half our deck. 37 cards. Let's go to 36. Okay, okay. Another surgical. And they're taking Dwellings Elite from us. Unfortunate. They're down to one card on the plus side. Well, I guess we're going to run out of Lana World and pass it over. Archdruid is good. I think we're just going to need to run out that Archdruid. That way we can start getting some beats in. Hopefully they don't have a fetch. Okay. Down to 26 cards. Let's run out this land of elves. 
and then we can run out the shaman of the pack hit him for five and beats What we got there? Alrighty. I'm not opposed to playing Force of Vigor to hit their things or the trophies here. I think those are the main cards we want to look at. We want to generate as much value as we can, honestly, right? Because they're going to be just pulling from us quite a bit. Clan caller is pretty relevant here. It's gonna be something we just wanna. Because our Lord effects are gonna be what wins us the game, from what I can tell at least. Right? What do you guys think? But they're these do seem to be the least impactful cards. We can trim those and this. Try that. Mm, this hand is not doing much. Slow and then too many lands. Okay, we'll work with this. Let's ship an elite to the bottom. Is that what we want to do? No, I should be one of their elves, the one mana ones. That way we have a bigger, stronger board presence. Yeah, Lord Zang. Yeah, Mills uh, isn't a surprising opponent. They're gonna glimpse us, okay. I think getting the mana dork out there is more important. We can get the get more value out of our elites that way. They are so going to archive trap us. What a savage. Okay. Um, I think if we go Land of War Elves into Dwyven's Elite and the next turn play the Archdruid, we'll be better off. Because then we'll be able to attack with quite a bit of damage. Where if we go the other route, we're not increasing our damage, we're just increasing our mana. Yeah, I think this route uh, causes more damage. Didn't do the math. Just get feeling. You know, it's all you need. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're gonna lose our force of vigor, that's fine. Heritage Druid into the Wildlands Elite into Arch Druid, right? Next turn we can do four, eight, four, eight, twelve. Oh my gosh! The <laughs> destructions. <laughs> oh, oh man! All right, they're down to one card at least, or two cards. <laughs> All of our creatures. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, this is a good card against us. It doesn't work. Okay, double orb. We need to hit a land. Come on. Come on. What are the odds that like, we don't do anything and they mill themselves, right? Like, is that possible? Like, we're down to 23 cards, but they're down to like 36. Okay, we're still not casting anything. It's not even a worry, you know? Who needs to cast anything? Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's a completely useful card. Yeah, one drop, dies. Nope, still dying. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh man. This is rough. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Uh well, let's run off the arch druid. Oh, and it's real rude. Like, real rude. We're just trying to kill them, and they're trying to murder us. We're going to lose, like, another six cards. I don't think we're going to have enough time to win at this rate. Because we cast... We have to cast at the Arch Druid to get anything going. We could hit the... Um, Mesmeric Orb with the trophy. Slow this down. That's probably the only way we're staying in this game. Because as much as I'd like to hit the uh, Knight of the Souls Betrayal, we got to make sure we stay alive. We'll have to pass up. Lose two cards, go to nine, draw one, go to eight. And then we try to play out our hand. Nope, that's game. That's rude, opponent. That's rude. Well, I'm happy we brought in the forces uh, quite a bit. Um, I don't think anything else is going to change. Let's just run that back. Hmm, one lander. Could be risky. Could be dope. Hitting another lander, hitting a heritage druid would be pretty amazing. I feel like this kind of deck just kind of keeps one landers, right? Like, that's a thing. We just keep one land. We just go crazy from that. We don't really need anything else. That's rude. Why, why would why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? Sh 
sure. I don't think we have to take out the orb yet. Zuri's good. All right, I think we want the mana right now more than anything else. So let's run out the arch druid. Pass it over. Hmm. How many archive traps do you have? Two. Do they have three? Man, I wanna I wanna draw three cards with one mana. Okay. So we can run out the elite, generate four mana, five, six. We could Coco. Mm. Yeah, let's go Dwellings. Hit them for two. Hold up Coco. And then see if that's enough to kill them. Five cards. See if we die. Ensnaring bridge is fine. We got four cards in hand anyway. But we can use force and take that out. Fatal push. Okay, well, we'll Coco in response. Go Arch Druid. And a Clan Caller. Any order for those? That's fine. Pass to our turn. Lose a bunch. Force those. Oops. Oh, you have to do it on. Okay. Never mind. I'm done. Is that lethal? One, two, three, four, seven. Mm. One, two, play Azuri, tap this for six, pump Azuri. Let me use the Zuri's effect, plus three to team, that'll be eight. Fifteen, yeah, okay, it's lethal. Not bad. We're uh, we're two and zero, oh, and yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited for Tron as well. I actually played a couple of test games of this week, and uh, just to get some more games in with it in because it is one of the decks uh, I'm considering, of course. So 
with as well as positioned as it is. So, um, but yeah, elves is doing great. We're uh, one out, two one. So can't beat that, right? Starting off with a win. My uh, teammates, Andrew and uh, Andrew Wolfeis and uh, Nick uh, Smith, they are at an event right now, and they're both in the top eight. Uh, well, he uh, Andrew's guaranteed lock for the top eight, but uh, last I knew, uh, Nick was uh, playing for a winning in. So they are on some uh, sweet stuff. They're going to be posting their deck list on our, uh, our team page in a bit once they're wrapped up for the day. Hmm, this hand's kind of slow, but we've got the winding way to kind of build it. I guess we can keep this and try this out. I think this might be too slow, though. Burn. Sprite's a good matchup. I don't know. This is Winding Way. Creature. Well, that was a great bunch of cards we just drew. Okay. A little pitch of Cavern. We don't need it. Against the Burn. Mono Red Prowess. That's probably fine. Is like a one drop elf, but that would be pretty sweet. Ooh, they're looting hit nothing. Yeah, there we go. Reveal that, play that. And let's just kind of clog up the board as much as we can. Ooh, good job. Okay, opponent. Don't let us have anything. A reveler. Take some damage. I think we want to go clan caller and elite. to chump, but uh, doesn't look like they drew a ton pitching two lands. Another one of theirs. That's fine with us. Ooh. They figured it out. We could double block. <laughs> okay. Um, Clan Caller and Shaman? No. I think we want a Clan Caller and Azuri, but we don't have the mana to hold up for that, unfortunately. Maybe we go man uh, Clan Caller and Shaman as a result of not being able to. And then next turn we can run out Azuri, hold up mana, pass here. We may have just wanted to run out the Zuri there, hold up the mana for regeneration to make their blocks irrelevant, and then next turn we could have overloaded. I mean, overran them. That might have just been the better line, right? Um, that way they're probably dead. They are not drawing. That is a ton of land from them. Okay, well. Let's run out this Azuri. A lot 
Lava Dart or Clan Caller, which means they're probably flashing it back and taking them out as well. I think we're okay with that. I don't think swinging is worth it anymore with the double prowess. So we'll just pass it over. Crash through is a pretty good draw for them right now. That trample could be the death of us this turn. Reveler's pretty solid. Draw three. Who doesn't like that? We'll need them not to have any more spells. That's not good. It's not lethal. Mm-mm-mm. Getting real scary. Swinging. Okay. Swing with the team and overrun? Yeah. I think they should have swung at us last turn. Yeah. yeah, if they would have swung at us, I think we would have been forced to block. At least offer up something. Okay, so I think ley lines are worth it here. Normally, I'm not a too big of a fan of ley line in the in this kind of matchup because they usually like the, the, the phoenix is just not that great against them. Like it, it only takes out the phoenix and the looting, but with them playing revelers as well, they'll, they'll make that cost a lot higher, which has been worth it for me. And I think we want to take out the clan collars because they just are most the most susceptible board effect. I don't think we need anything else necessarily, so. I feel like we can actually cast the ley line pretty reasonably if we if we drew it. I feel like a lot of decks you just like have it. You're like, well, I can't cast this at all, but I have it. I have it. I mean, we have it either way because we're <laughs> that good at this game. All the one drops. A land would be pretty cool. We're not that cool, unfortunately. Shouting us. Surprised they didn't take up the land worlds. Oh, I guess because they want to light up the stage. Okay. Now they're going to bolt it. Pretty big dude. And we're still on a one lander. Solid. This is not going to end well for us. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, we go to death range with bolt. I don't think we're winning if we're blocking, so. Heritage Druid. Elite. Could tap out, play Vivian, die. I don't think that's worth it, so we'll just pass. Okay. Crash through nails. Get a one. We'll just run out Lanoir and then run out Shaman, right? Pass it back. Hope they don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they might actually not have anything. This is great. Um, let's go Vivian. Exile the Azuri, right? And we'll hold off on playing the Elite and the Azuri. So basically, we need them to just blank for one more turn. Nope, they haven't got shot. <laughs> I thought we were blanking at the time we could have Azuri, Dwyman's Elite, Overrun, kill them, but... Oh man, we were at one. It was pretty good. Uh, if we'd have drawn like a land earlier, it would have been great. But uh, we didn't, so we died. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Leyline. Oh my gosh, another one lander. Okay, um... Guess it's fine. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna die to this again. It would be like really sad with my life. This thing's a lot worse because if they kill it, <laughs> we don't have another one drop. <laughs> oh man. Come on, land. Come on, land. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, maybe this was a greedy keep. I don't know. I feel like we could have just done a lot of great stuff. We would have gone like into Winding Way, into the Elite, and Vivian would have kept drawing cards for us. Give me a land. Yeah! So much mana work can grow up. Oh, why are you gonna do that? You get nothing. Play this really uh, elite. Two mana bear. Like, I had a block there because otherwise I'm just dead, but didn't feel good. 
and uh, we're dead. Tragic. Okay. I'm talking to the guy that uh, submitted the deck. He says, when he usually brings in the ley lines, he usually cuts the winding ways. So, yeah, it, it felt like a tough match. Of like, they just have so much burn for all of our stuff, and we can't hit that critical mass of elves that we're usually looking for. Which is good. Is it greedy if I send the land away? <laughs> like, it's two enough. I feel like two is enough, right? Let's be greedy. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't kill our dude. Don't kill our dude. Don't kill our dude. Man, why'd they get to kill our dude? I mean, it's not cool they're killing all of our stuff, but I, I like the fact they're playing it. <laughs> like, we drew it up. I think I'm going to run out the shaman. Just so we can have a bigger body uh, to block things down. We run out the arch druid. We might not be able to kill one of their creatures if they pump just a single spell. Uh, I think the green black is uh, generally considered better than the just mono green because the uh, shaman of the pack is pretty awesome to just like pressure the opponent. So it's uh, and it just like a lot of times you can just hit that and just get a win. So it's pretty cool. Okay, they didn't have a way to kill it. Let's run this arch druid out. And then, like you're not really. Uh, it doesn't really cost you much to get it because you already have the green black elf land and then the rest of the dual lands is pretty simple and then you get access to like assassin's trophy and other black spells if you want it in the sideboard i don't think we can afford to swing Plus side for us is that they have a lot of lands. Mm. 
Well, they're drawn pretty dead, which is sweet. I think I want to just run out another Arch Druid. Surgically, the mystic. Like, that's their target? I feel like that's odd. But okay. Chandra have two blockers still. I just don't want them to draw like a in this scenario. I don't want them to draw like a bolt and then be able to bolt and then Chandra bolt again. So our team is pretty excited. We uh, have more or less wrapped up the uh, uh, team, this setup for uh, Magic Fest Indie. So I think we're going to have at the very minimum, we're going to have two teams there. But it looks like though we might have three people, uh, three teams from uh, Team Swish. So that'll be pretty sweet. Okay. So that was a possibility, and that's fine. Um, we lose our guy and they take up, you know, but they're left with just one creature now. Don't draw a spot, remove the spell. It'd be pretty bad for us. I like how Vivian actually just like gives us reach though. <laughs> so we need to we can just block it. Are they currently doing the math to see if they die if they swing? If we play a lord they die, right? If they swing. Six. Did they forget to do anything with the uh, the Chandra? Digging because we can get a clan caller. Should be good. Didn't.
Now if we have a bolt or a spike, we're dead. Or another phoenix. That's not a good way to start it off. At least our creatures aren't boltable. Too bad we're dead if they have a bolt anyway, right? But at least it like fades. <clears throat> like a braids and whatnot. Yeah, that's another phoenix. So that's death. Well, I guess we should have just activated that on hindsight, but yeah, we did. Okay, so similar matchup. Um, we didn't see Bedlam Revelers though. But I think that's still fine to bring in the ley lines, I guess. And then we'll go with the recommendation to take out the winding ways. And yeah, we'll take out. Mm, we'll take out one Vivian. Try that way. We'll get to keep it for a turn and run out the Arch Druid. Yeah, they didn't kill it. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't swing, but whatever. <laughs> to work. Phoenix and light up, okay. There goes Arch Druid. We are infinitely sad. Let's drain them and beat them up. Interesting what they would have pitched if they, I mean, what's in their hand if they were pitching light up the stage. I feel like that's, that card's just so good.
bolt on our shaman. All right. All right. Hopefully they don't hit. No, oh, they couldn't hit anything anyway. They're just they're just doing it to draw. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we'll hit him again with the shaman, and then we'll beat them up for one, and we'll pass. Right? Faithless Luna can't do anything. I'm really not sure if they should have Faithless Looting there, though, with Leyline in play, and they're just drawing. They're, they're literally just drawing it and then just pitching them. So, I feel like waiting one extra turn to see if you draw land or something would be worthwhile. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's play another Leyline. Just to really reinforce where we're at in life. So. And, like, they're, obviously they have to be different art, too, just to, like, make sure they know that we are hitting them with two ley lines from two different sets. That's how we roll. Oh, man. It's not good. We're going four. We could really use a spell that generates a bunch of cards. Yeah, the second ley line draw was bad. Yeah, at least that's a redraw. Yay for a chump blocker? Mm mm mm. We could really use, like, a Coco. I don't think I'm a good enough Coco player to just rip Cocos. Because I feel like we would have drawn it by now if we could have, you know? That's not good. Um... Like, we're gonna go to two. Yeah, we drew it! Alright, well, let's just pass. Not good for us. Land and a skewer. Okay. We go Azuri and Archdruid, block and re double block and regen. Do five, six, no, sorry, five, yeah, we win, yeah, <laughs> right, like nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
reasonable magic. I like don't trust my math, man. I'm like, I don't think you understand. I, you know, I can take advanced math. I will still double check my math with my calculator every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we're doing work. We're doing work. Trying to see if my no updates from the team. Okay. Um. Hmm. Suspect hand. Um. Real suspect. They take out our mystic. We're in a really awkward spot. And then even after that, the problem is, we can't, if we have to like draw multiple lands, I don't think we can keep this one. The curve is just too high with not enough enablers. Mm, no lands, solid. Mm, okay, I guess we're keeping this one. Um, I think we're gonna pitch the Azuri in the cavern. The teams at the uh, they're at the charity event with uh, one of the stores in like nearby. Let me see if I can find the name of the event. It's the Savage Classic charity event. And Andrew's in top A. I'm trying to see if Nick made top A. I didn't actually know there was um, an event going on. It's, I mean, it's a charity event. It's not like an IQ or anything like that. Uh, it's still pretty sweet. And I don't know what the prize support for that kind of event looks like. It's for um, uh, an individual named uh, Mikey. Uh, but it was only like 10 bucks for it and then there was I, I know that the big thing that they were giving away was the um the play mat which has uh the savage classic 2019 uh, on it so that's pretty cool And soul scar okay I think we're just gonna run out the elite Just gonna go soul scar into lava spike or just the spike? <laughs> it's kind of like going to a charity event. I gotta get a popper deck so I can start doing those events on Sunday. It'd be uh, fun to do that after my disc golf league wraps up. So if we can flip this, we pretty much just win, right? Like, I don't think they're beating a 9-7 flying lifelink indestructible. Do they? What are the, um, so like, I feel like I'm supposed to build Tron in, uh, in that. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that's fine. That's really interesting that they would bring that in against us. I don't think that impacts us at all. 
Um, I don't think we can go much lower. Let's double block on one and kill it. Jay wants me to have popper elves. <laughs> yeah, I've been told though the format's pretty open right now, so it seems it's pretty sweet. I feel suspect about making the one one creature because I feel like the chance we'll just die. <laughs> we like make that and then he just bolts us and we're dead. Love spike, so that's no longer viable to use that. We're at one. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, so we've learned that uh, Mono Red Prowess is really hard for us to play against. Sweet. I feel like that's a that's an unfortunate name. It's failed loser. So if you're a failed loser, does that mean that you failed at failing? Or you failed at being a loser? So you're actually like not a loser, you're a winner? Because you failed at it? Yeah, charge. We're on the same wavelength here. He's a winner. Okay. Let's just run out all the elves and hope they don't have a board sweeper. <laughs> Next turn, we can go Arch Druid, punch them for eight, and then kill them the following turn. Don't damnation us. Don't do it. I'd be actually just blown away if they actually had, had damnation in the main. I feel like it's happening. Is it happening? It's happening right now? At this moment? What? What? Oh, it's Galatus. 
Okay, that's much more reasonable. <laughs> um, Missouri. Swing with these three and then overrun if they block. Yeah! The way they were tapping, I definitely thought it was damnation. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. Still need them not to have a board sweeper. By the way, did you guys notice the Teferi in my room? Snapcaster? Push? Sure, like you're still dead. Yeah, that's fine. They also cast it on the wrong creature. Solid. <laughs> okay, okay. You should get a ban me. I should get a ban me please speech bubble for him. I will work on that. See what I can do to make that happen. I mean, to be fair, I've got a whiteboard next to him. I can just draw it. I don't think... I don't know if we really want Leyline here. Pithing Needle is, I think, the card that I'm interested in, along with the trophies. But I'm actually just not even that interested in it, it too much. What do you think, Jay? What what should we bring in here in the uh, blue black control matchup, or just the control matchups as a whole? Okay, you're a fan of the bringing in the trophies as well, and the needle. Okay. What would you want to take out? Okay. So we'll take out the four clan collars. We're going to bring in the trophies and the needle. Let's run it. You wanted to name the, you bring in the, uh, we have to ship that, um, the engineer just for the wizard. I feel like that's, I don't know if that's good enough. This hand's really awkward. We have to keep our lands with this one. I'm gonna ship away the Azuri. Like if we do name Wizard, like is it just hitting it's just hitting Snapcaster, right? Alright, if we can get Vivian out turn two, that'd be pretty sweet. Just like massive value engine. I feel like it's gonna die, but we can hope. Hope and dream. You know, I always forget the Vendillion Click is also a wizard, not just a fairy. Aw, oh, yeah. Hogax following me. That's the greatest.
Alright, well they miss on what they on that, which is good. Yes, that, that Hogek, the Satanic Overlord. He's now watching Voodoo, which is, you know, pretty much all you could want in life. Just killing all of our stuff. We don't get anything. Um, let's run out the Vivian, see if it resolves. See if they, I would be impressed if it, like, if they run, like, Spell Pierce against us. Okay, great. Hit a bunch of lands. All part of the plan. We just got rid of that land pocket. Totally fair. They have a planeswalker. We have a planeswalker. Like, they have to, you know, they can just draw cards and it doesn't cost them anything. We have to actually down tech our Vivian to draw stuff. You know, it's, this is fair magic. Cool, cool. So we're just going to uptick this, play that land, and we'll pass it over. We can cast our Archer to the end of their turn, and then we'll downtick Vivian and see what we find. And a fetch land. That's like drawing new cards for them, basically. Okay, let's clean us. Okay, okay, we're getting more lands. Solid, solid. Can't get the cocoa. We're drawing more lands than we've ever had before, folks. It's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, and we have all the force in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they just ritualed us. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> that's rude of them. <laughs> all right. Um, let's run it back. Fine, I suppose. The winner has mulligan to six. Gonna run out this winding way. I 
Cool. Pass that over. Look at that realistic art they used to do. That's rude. How dare they get rid of our stuff? Imagine our caverns going away. Oh, I'll snap into a push. Okay. Somebody's rude. We're just gonna do the shaman for two here because I want to have a bigger creature to swing through. If we can get a little lord effect, we can uh, start pushing through with the shaman rather than the elf elf here. This elf. Into Azuri. They're at four, and see if they have a wrath or effect for us or anything. They do. If we draw an elf, we win. Nope. Let's see if we can draw an elf. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So that's game. Nice. Nice. Shaman, you. Oh. Why did they run out Tassiger? Have a blocker and then hold up Leak. I guess Leak really wouldn't have done anything. Cryptic, I guess. I don't know. That it was either either way it would have been. It was awkward for them. Okay, one more match, and then we're going to be switching over to uh, Eldrazi Tron. So, 
It was a request by Ken, so we are going to oblige and uh, get that going. Danny's got a spicy bant blink deck. Now, are we talking a popper bant blink deck? Because I know that's a thing, right? Um, or are we talking um, modern? Modern, okay. Well, if he wants to send me that list, uh, we could possibly play that. Uh, I probably won't play it tonight. I gotta knock out some homework because I'm in finals week and I've got to uh, knock out two more assignments and a final exam and then I'm done and free from my class. What makes it spicy? Woohoo! Just found out Andrew took down the tournament. So congrats to Andrew, taking down that charity event. <laughs> They're getting ball lightning. Oh man. Let's really hope they don't have an earth. <laughs> Another one? Another one? We're going to zero cards, both of us? Ow! Okay. Yeah, draw two cards. Danny wants to ship that to me. I am more than happy to play his Bant Blank Pile next week. Let's go Clan Caller. Hopefully he doesn't get bolted while we class this Elite. Yeah, come on, resolve, baby. No! No! Ooh, that's not good for us. That is not good for us. Solid. We drew a land. Uh, it looks like Nick, unfortunately, uh, did not win his winning in. Nice, we've got a Coco. He dealt with uh, four threats out of the Boggles game one, and the opponent had five Hexproof Dundies. Okay, let's see if we can stay alive with this Coco.
Get those. Regen that. Go to one. It runs Soul Herder. Man, how do you have a bolt? It's so rude. Okay, so I want the Plague Engineers for sure. And I don't mind having the Ley Lines here either. I don't think we need the Vivians. Good to cut the Winding Ways, probably, right? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts, Jay, on what you want to take in and take out. We might want to keep the winding ways because our opponent's just ripping our hand apart. Soul Herder. Because I didn't actually know what this card was, so I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. So, 3 mana, 1-1, one, one, Spirit, whenever a Spirit is exiled from the battlefield, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Soul Herder. At the beginning of your up end, uh, end step, you may exile another target creature you control, then return it. So you just get, like, free blink effects? That sounds fun! Fair point. Let's take out one shaman. I feel like we're gonna have like very few creatures. So you just get like free blanks. It makes your creature stronger. Yeah, this is fine. Castable pile of magic cards. So, funny story about the Cavern of Souls. Did you guys... Uh, I don't know if you guys played it when it first came out. The card had this really awkward uh, point in its life where it... It, like, was... When you first cast it originally, it, uh... It was... Off, it, unless you specifically declared it, it didn't use the, un, the uncounterable par portion of it. You had to specifically declare it. Um, and I was at like the GP when that was all going around, and they the they had to make a, a huge announcement about it. Oh my gosh! Time warp E what to take infinite turns? I'm in. All right, no blocks. Take the hit. Let's discard the. The land and the pack. So is he playing like mole drifters and stuff too? And is he using like what is it like ephemerate? Looks like we're losing our other spells. Oh my gosh, again. Well, we're gonna go to one. Got the bolt. And we didn't hit that. Mm. 
Let's see how dead we are. Oh, we're just dead. Never mind. I'm done. Uh, because I just bring back the dude again. Well, that was unfortunate. Did not do the greatest uh, with it, but we still managed to go 2-3. Um, pretty rough matchup with that Mono Red Prowess. Unfortunately, we had to hit that twice, and then this uh, Black Red Skeletal that apparently is not a great matchup either, is what Jay's telling me. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up.